Thomas Dyke Ackland, Wright, with his mother Lydia Elizabeth Hoare, Center, and Arthur Henry Dyke Ackland, Left. Ackland was the eldest son of Sir Thomas Dyke Ackland, 10th Baronet, and his wife Lydia Elizabeth Hoare, daughter of Henry Hoare, a partner in the banking firm of C. He was educated at Harrow and Christ Church, Oxford, where he was friends with William Ewart Gladstone and Lord Elgin among others. During the tensions within the Tory party in the 1840s over the Corn Laws, Ackland supported Sir Robert Peel's free trade policy. He did not stand for Parliament in the 1847 general election and was to remain out of the House of Commons for nearly 20 years. He initially promoted the maintenance and defense of church schools and the establishment of diocesan theological colleges. However, he later became a supporter of educational projects of a more liberal character and played a leading role in the establishment of the Oxford Local Examination System in 1858. He was also involved in agricultural issues and was a trustee of the Royal Agricultural Society. Ackland was influential on recruiting Augustus Volcker as consultant agricultural chemist to the Royal Bath and West of England Society around 1849. Ackland was also Honorary Colonel 3rd Volunteer B and Devonshire Regiment and a JP. He contested Birmingham as a moderate liberal in 1859, but was defeated by John Bright. In 1865, Ackland returned to the House of Commons as a Liberal when he was elected as one of two representatives for Devonshire North. The Devonshire North constituency was abolished by the Redistribution of Seats Act of 1885 and Ackland was instead returned to Parliament for Wellington. He voted for the first Home Rule Bill in June 1885 and this led to him being defeated at the 1886 general election. Ackland married firstly Mary Mordaunt, daughter of Sir Charles Mordaunt, 8th Baronet, in 1841. After her death in 1851 he married secondly Mary Erskine, only surviving child of John Erskine, in 1856. He was succeeded in the baronetcy by his eldest son Thomas, who was also a politician. Ackland's second son Arthur, who succeeded in the baronetcy in 1919, also had a successful political career. 